What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Just an update on um, tips of the week. Um, the first thing I wanna talk about is oil viscosity. We did add that right here. So you're gonna have the oil capacity, uh, oil viscosity and oil filter. I think that's really, really cool. Um, like I said, to change it, double click to edit. You can change it. So it's select, it should be all of them right there. 0W20, 0W40 and when you print if you don't have the printer you still can use it it will save um, when you hit cancel it will save anyway but if you do have the old chain sticker printer uh, because you're saving so much time uh, and when you click up here it's going to be on the side too so you can see you're going to see oil capacity oil viscosity and oil filter uh, all you have to do like i said one time when a card comes in go get the data whether from AutoZone or Identifix or whatever you want to get the data from add them right here and you only have to do it once that way you don't have to look up the, the data every time so even if you have access uh, to all data or ProDemand or Identifix um, get the data and you're not going to get the oil filter anyway from them so uh, when you print the oil change sticker put the data right here how many cords what's the weight and what's the oil filter and all you have to do once and next time the car comes in uh, VIP is going to remind you right here when you try to print the oil chain sticker it's going to remind you right here so it's going to save you time we did have we already had the capacity and oil filter and now we have the viscosity too uh, so that should complete the whole thing it doesn't print the viscosity on the sticker um, I've had so many problems with it through the years where somebody even if you, let's say that the oil cap says 5W20 and you put 5W20 on the sticker, guy comes in and say, hey, you know, I want it 5W30 or 10W30. So it creates more problems uh, to put the viscosity on the oil chain stickers more than it does good. So it does harm more than it does good. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the sticker, it's supposed to show, tell the customer when he's supposed to uh, come back for an oil change, not to inform him what type of oil that you put in. So yeah, so the oil viscosity is right there. If you want to put oil, oil weight on the invoice, you can. Another thing I want to talk about, is, which is very important, um, searching for an invoice. When you come in here on the data report, obviously you can see search invoice number. If you search an invoice number, it's gonna, let's say I search for 15,000, press enter. It's gonna tell you the invoice doesn't exist or has been deleted if it's not in the database. So I've always told people do not delete an invoice unless you really have to. You, you, we have a void option. So let me, let's go back to here. So in here, you, you shouldn't have, let's say I want to avoid this invoice, right? I'm just going to click on the menu, void. We don't even have delete anyway, so I click on void. Why void is better than delete? Because when I go to the daily report, I can see what happened in that invoice. It's not going to show on, the day, on, on today's sale or anything. But it's voided so i still can open it and see but when you delete it um that's it it's permanent it's, it's deleted forever you cannot retrieve it um if you have uh, managed user under managed user and tax if when you add a technician if you go to more options there's something called manage service writer and delete invoices this is the option you can uncheck that for your service writer if you don't want them to delete they can do everything else, but they cannot delete an invoice. So yeah, another thing is, let's say you're searching for an in-progress invoice, let's say 12577. If I go back right here and I'm searching for 12577, before it just, it says no results. Now it tells you actually that this invoice is in progress and it belongs to Let's do it again. Mark Ismail was created. So it tells you where's the location for that invoice. That comes in handy if you're if you have so much so many credit accounts and you cannot find an invoice. One two five six three. Again, you're not going to use this unless you literally uh, uh, searching for a specific invoice. You see, it's going to tell you it's in, it's in progress. Belong to fleet account. So, so I thought that's pretty cool, but if you got a message like this that mean the invoice 
has been deleted. So keep that in mind. Um, what else did I want to say? Yeah, so um, so we are in talk of uh, with uh, with uh, two companies right now, uh, Identifix and Repairlink. Um, we'll see how long it will take. But they are both they showed the both of them showed in definitely interest uh, to be part of it. And we want to put Identifix right here. Uh, Federated already have Identifix. If you are using Federated, see they have a bonds called Fix. And the beauty, and that's what we're trying to get. We want the card to be selected automatically and we want to log in automatically to Identifix, just like that. So instead of, uh, so what we're asking from Identifix is to have the ability to select, see if the 2018 Grand Truck is already selected. We want to be able to do the same from here with that Identifix button. So we'll see how long that will take, but yes, uh, and I think by adding repair link in Identifix to VIP shop management, uh, this will make Shop Monkey really, really put uh, Shop Monkey in really, really bad position, as they'll never be able to add Identifix because they're trying to compete with Identifix. I'm not trying to compete with Ident Identifix. I don't want the removal procedure, remove and replace procedure, and all that. If anything, I'm trying to get, add um, pro demand, all data, and Identifix, and eventually CCC for a body shop. Um, uh, we'll see. Uh, one step at a time. Uh, repair link is something I'm really, really interested in for people who use repair link. That will same thing. Will be like just like AutoZone. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm ready. I'm, uh, I'm ready. I'm just waiting for the API, and boom, I'll be ready to. Uh, implement it in, in the nicest way possible uh, to make it easier um, our job is like I always said to make you save to save you time so you can have the ability to uh, do more so you can make more money uh, don't, don't forget that equation anyway until next time thanks for watching